Under the old model, people would kind of go into the studio and then work for a year, or even a couple years, create and and fund and then record an album and then drop it onto the fans, lather, rinse, and repeat. Is that the way that you recommend doing it nowadays, or is it more sort of iterative releases, or how do you recommend that people release their music nowadays? Yeah, I mean, there's no one set way. We live in a, in a it's like the wild, wild west, where, where and people are, Exper it's a great time to experiment, so there's no one way. However, I always recommend that people forget every rule they've ever been told about the music business. So that old model, uh, I would definitely experiment with it. Also, don't hold, if, if, and if you are going to put out a full-length album, don't hold yourself up while you create it and then come out and then start promoting it. I think you should uh, uh, um, promote as you create. So, so And uh, Imogene Heap did this really effectively a couple of years ago where she's, she posted like 40 different video blog updates of the, of the process of where she moved into her old house where she grew up and she was telling people about the frustrations, the highs and lows of recording the new album. And when it came out, it, it like hit the charts. You know, it, was, it did really well because she had engaged people through that process, created a demand. I think the, the other question that you uh, spoke to is thinking outside of the album box. And so, yeah, there are, there are artists that are really releasing like a series of EPs, whether it be a three or four song EP every quarter, you know, and so then maybe at the end of a, of, a, of a year they might then take the best ones or remaster them and then put out a full length album. So I think you do, I think you, there is something to be said for the uh, re releasing more material or, or, or fewer songs, but more frequently. And that has worked effectively for a lot of, uh, a lot of artists. People are experimenting with subscription models. Uh, a guy named Javier Mendoza in my hometown of St. Louis did a subscription thing where people for like 50 bucks or whatever got two new songs every month for a year. You know, so th the sky's the limit. Try stuff, have fun with it, experiment, and you'll find eventually you try enough things and you will find something that's, that works for your fans.